Well, hello. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, right now, I want to talk about this um, sort of um, um, unknown um, function. Uh, it is intarsion. It allows you to mix two different types of material. Let's say two pieces of wood, a dark and a, a not so dark, or, or um, it could even be... Uh, uh, plastic on wood or, or um, metal on plastic anyway it, it's to mix two different materials um, so that means that one needs to fit inside the other and for that you can't have any sharp edges because the router bit wouldn't be able to, uh, to cut the very pointy edges and uh, the very pointy, pointy edges wouldn't be able to fit inside the the, the routed pockets. So um, I made the example. Um, this is uh, I've modified intarsion for tolerances and um, for backlit purposes. So I'll go around the different options and we'll see how they can be used. There we go, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, right now I have a curve, and um, it's just a, a letters text that I've uh, made, so you can do that. And uh, click on Intarsion, and that opens up a window. That window might be closed here, so it opens up a little window. Now, let's pretend that all these are, let's see, Alright, so let's pretend all these are, are zero because we don't need them right now. So if you put these to zero, the um, the curve generated will be um, just the ones that you that you want. The, so right now. Uh, you see intarsion is working it generates two curves right now it generates a one which is rounded by um, 3.175 with a little tolerance and the other one is half a millimeter smaller to fit inside that pocket to make a pocket uh, to fit inside the pocket so um, 0.5 millimeter is a little tight uh, of a fit with wood so uh, I choose a one millimeter here and um, for that size a one millimeter is adequate so as you can see the um, there's two curves one is for the outside the other one is for the insert so the pocket would be cut in here and the insert would fit inside and cut around so um, Um, at right now this generates a pocket but uh, not very uh, you can't tell the depth so you need the uh, intarsion thickness for is going to decide how far uh, how deep the uh, pocket will be so uh, intarsion th thickness is uh, in my case 3 sixteenths of an inch so close to five millimeters so uh, 25.4 times 3 divided by 16. So as you can see, it moved a curve here, and you can make a pocket from that. Okay, so, and the top is just, um, it's just the, the top cutout for the curve. Um, okay, so right now, we have two parameters that are set. So the base material, right, oh, and we don't have a perimeter cut offset. So uh, let's say we want to make a standalone, mm, in this case, number. Uh, so we can make an offset of, let's say, 3 millimeter. And uh, it just makes a cutout curve around the, uh, the curve that we want. 
and if you make it too large it's going to blend with the others so let's uh, make it uh, 10 millimeter so it makes a big blob and that's okay that might be what you're uh, looking for um, but it doesn't uh, cut it at the base material depth so uh, in my case the um, material was 18 millimeter so that makes it deeper and actually makes it uh, sets the, the, the cut to the, the depth and um, so we didn't make a uh, backlit well here um, so if we want a backlit well it's not very difficult so you need a backlit seat which means uh, whatever your um, translucent pl plastic is going to sit on so this could be really small as long as the plastic or the, the translucent doesn't go through um, so I choose uh, one millimeter uh, as a seat there and, and you can tell that it just made another curve which is one millimeter inside and um, in the well depth well um, we can choose well, one or two millimeter above this so uh, I want to choose a 16 millimeter so basically that's it um, all the um, all the uh, the settings for this have already been made so all the um, operations have been made so if you want to calculate it and see what happens um, you can just calculate the chain it's running right now okay so it made uh, a lot of things here uh, different depths because I had the uh, the layers set out uh, let's see what happens in the um, simulation all right so the simulation Okay, so we need to delete a few, uh, make some things disappear. All right, so the simulation looks, uh, well, basically just like the picture above. And so um, I need to remove it. So yeah, the simulation looks like the picture above, except that the block is, is wider. If you need a plate, then you um, you don't need the, um, the the pocket, the outer pocket, um, for uh, it's the setting for. Um, that um, the perimeter cut offset you don't need that so if you already have a plaque or or uh, um, a flat surface or, or a plaque that you want then you don't need to cut out around so uh, basically that's it if you have any questions uh, start sorry for my stuttering uh, if you have any questions just give uh, give me a shout out and uh, try to answer everything and also you can join us on um, um, blender cam channel on elements um, we're a good group of people here and we try to answer questions and get people unstuck um, basically the uh, the aim of this is to get as many people working with blender cam and try to make it as useful as possible. So have a great day.